Character level up awards are one of the main sources of gems in Duel Links. Efficiently farming them is key to quickly building the deck you want. So, how should we do it? I've compiled a chart to help visualize the answer, including every gem drop from level ups and the XP required to get there. The simplest method of figuring out when to swap characters is simply to check when leveling up provides fewer gems than starting a new one. For example, going to level 15 to 17 provides 60 gems at the cost of 10,000 experience. If you were to give that 10,000 experience to a new character, they'd reach the threshold for level 9, providing a total of 50 gems. 60 is more than 50, so we keep going down the list. With this, the major breakpoint comes when we get to level 30. You see, old characters like Yami Yugi have a juicy 300 gem drop. This easily beats out the 50 gems you'd get on a new character. But newer characters like Yugi's grandpa provide a ticket instead. This means you have to go from level 29 all the way to level 32 for just 200 gems. 50 plus 195 is over 200, meaning the grind is not worth it if you still have low level characters. For old characters, the 300 gem drop carries us through all the way to level 34. It takes a whopping 80,000 experience to go from 34 to 37 and provides 200 gems. Alternatively, a new character could go from level 1 to 22, providing 370 gems in the process. Hold it! Objection! When we take an example, like the 15,000 experience to get from level 29 to level 30, a new character wouldn't be at exactly level 9. In fact, they'd be just 1,100 experience away from another 35 gem drop. So I've compiled a second table, which instead looks at the total amount of gems per experience point at each breakpoint. This means we can ignore the EXP differential and simply find where the cumulative gem to XP value is highest. With this, a new pattern emerges. It only takes 500 experience, the equivalent of a single standard duelist, to reach level 2. This provides an immediate 5 or 10 gems, by far the best value in the spreadsheet. However, since it is just one game per character, you'll fly through it pretty quick. After that, we scroll down and we see that this means for new characters, you want to get everyone to level 6 and then proceed to level 29 like normal. But for old characters, you go straight from level 1 to level 30. Merging it all together, it looks like this. Get everyone to level 2 and the new characters to level 6. Then. Get all the old characters to level 30. Once they're all level 30, get them to 34. After that, bring up the new characters from level 6 to level 29. Then, swap back and forth between the old and new characters for various thresh points. Lastly, I should note two caveats. Most characters have a level cap that's actually below level 45. This is based on the world they are in, rather than how recent of a character they are. Second, gem drops are not everything. Several characters have key cards for decks locked behind high level rewards. If you plan to use any of those decks, level those characters first. Thank you for watching.